Hello friends, it's Miss Graves, and today I'll be showing you how to create this sea turtle coloring wheel. You'll need pencil, paper, and coloring materials. I used a circular lid to create a circle on my paper. If you don't have a circular lid, then you can just create your own circle. Then once I had my perfect circle, I went back and I traced my line with a black marker. When I was done outlining my circle, I went in with my pencil and divided my circle right in half. Then, to create six equal sections, I draw an X over this line, and that will create three bow ties. If you need to put a dot in the middle of your circle while you're drawing your X, this will help you keep all of your sections nice and even. Today I'll be using Model Magic to show and explain our primary and secondary colors. Primary colors are first. They are the red, yellow, and blue. Primary colors are used to mix secondary colors. I write an R a Y, and a B inside of my coloring wheel to help me remember when it's time to color. Then I mix one primary plus one primary to equal my secondary color. Blue plus red equals purple. See how I'm creating and mixing the purple? Then I write a P to help me remember. Next we have our red and yellow which, as you can see, mixes up to create a beautiful orange. And lastly, we have our yellow and blue. I bet you guys know what color that this is going to make. That's right, it makes green. I've written all of my letters inside of my circle to help me remember. Now it's time to create our sea turtle. Go ahead and draw half an oval for his head, a triangle for his tail, and an organic shape for his leg. I drew my legs facing inwards, but feel free to change your legs and create them however you would like. Then, if you have a black marker, go ahead and outline your sea turtle to make him stand out just a little bit more. Next, I give my sea turtle eyes. I create two ovals and put a dot inside of each for their pupil. And give it a cute little smile. Now it looks like our sea turtle is floating on top of the water. All right, friends, go ahead and stop. I need you to listen because we have some important information for how we're gonna color in our coloring wheel. If you are in kindergarten or first grade, I want you to just neatly color in your coloring wheel and your sea turtle. Try your best to stay in between the lines. If you are in second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, I want you to add a different pattern in each section of your coloring wheel. Be sure to still use the color that corresponds with each section. We all know that sea turtles have different patterns on their back. And then you can color in your sea turtle whatever color you would like. If you are in fourth or fifth grade, I would love for you to go ahead and add a background to your sea turtle. Remember, it looks like we are looking down on our sea turtle. This is called aerial view. So I'm going to draw what I think would be floating on the top of the water, like pieces of seaweed and sadly pieces of trash. Go ahead and draw what you think would be floating on your water. I can't wait to see your coloring wheel sea turtle. Bye friends.